Saludos, mi gente. I'm Coach Francis, and today it's all about strengthening and lengthening your upper body and working your core in unconventional ways. You up for the challenge, warriors? Let's get started at the top of your mat. As you're at the top of your mat, place your feet about hip width apart. Take a moment here, roll the shoulders back, stand up nice and tall, and close your eyes. You're standing here in Tadasana Mountain Pose. The palms of your hands are facing forward. Already you are feeling yourselves grounded. So from the ground up, spreading your toes nice and wide, body weight spread evenly amongst both legs. Take a moment to notice your breath. Begin to deepen it. Smooth inhales, smooth exhales through your nose. And as you check in with yourselves, releasing whatever it is that you no longer need right now with each breath out, then maybe inviting in an intention for your day, for your practice with each breath in so that you can revisit that as we start to move into the physical aspect of your practice. So right here, take a nice deep breath in, release the breath. Open your eyes and on the inhale, circle both arms over your head. As you exhale, begin to bend the arms. And if you're ready for it, a slight little back bend, starting to get into your back and chest. On the inhale, stretch all the way back up. And as you exhale, forward fold all the way down. Place the fingertips right in front of you or maybe on your shin bones as you find a nice flat back, crown of the head forward, tailbone back. Exhale, fold over your legs. Let's do that twice more just like that. So on the inhale, circle the arms all the way up to standing, body weight on all corners of your feet. And as you exhale, bend the arms, open the chest up to the sky. As you inhale, stretch both arms back up. And as you exhale, fold all the way down towards your legs. On the inhale, fingertips right below the face or your shins as you stretch flat back. Exhale, fold back down. Let's do that one last time. Inhale, stretch all the way up to standing, this time standing a little taller. Exhale, cactus, back bend. Inhale, stretch back up. And as you exhale with a nice flat back, wide arms, fold all the way down. Find a nice flat back again. And this time, soften of the knees, interlace your hands behind your back, and relax the head all the way down towards the ground. So the crown of the head is heavy. You can shake the head no, side to side. Shake it, yes, releasing any tension that might be present. While you're in this fold, your feet are still hip width apart. Let's go ahead and bend just the left knee. Start to straighten the right leg any amount and begin to rotate the body towards your right so that your left shoulder is towards that left leg and you feel a stretch through the collarbones, the front of the shoulder, that right hip. Take a deep breath in, exhale it out. Switching on to the other side. As you bend the right knee, straighten the left leg. Rotate the chest to your left, right shoulder goes towards the right leg. Maybe the arms lift up a little higher, relax your head. You take an inhale and an exhale. Find your way back through the middle. If you're able to straighten both of the legs a little bit more, take another big breath in, big breath out. Release the fingertips to the mat and we're getting right into it. Place the hands right underneath your shoulders and step back to your first plank position. And in that plank, you bring the belly in nice and tight. If you ever need to modify these planks as we go through the flow, feel free to lower the knees down to the mat, but keep the upper body just like this, shoulders over wrists. Take a giant breath in through the nose as you zip the belly in nice and tight, and then lift the hips up to your first down dog. 
First down dog, go ahead and pedal out your feet. Your feet are about hip width apart right here. Just rising up to the balls of your feet a couple of times, getting any kinks out from the backs of your legs as well. Once you're ready to find stillness, keep the feet about hip width apart, maybe a little wider if that feels better in your bodies. Look back towards your legs, so you're looking between your inner thighs, making sure the heels are directly behind your toes. Upper body wrapping the triceps forward, pressing down through your index and your thumb, feeling the shoulders pull away from your ears. Take a giant breath in, let the breath go. Bring the belly in nice and tight and shift forward back into that plank position. We're keeping you in motion from here on out. So you take another big breath in, exhale, down dog. Kind of like you're moving through water, creating a nice fluid movement. Inhale forward to plank and hold. Neck is long, crown of the head reaches forward. Exhale, down dog. We'll do that once more. Inhale forward to plank and pause. Exhale, down dog. From this down dog, come back to your plank position. And once you're in plank, step the right foot to the outside of that right hand. Lift the right arm up to the sky, coming into a wide runner's twist here. Really reaching through the right fingertips, lifting the belly in and up, stacking the shoulders. Place the right hand back to the inside of that right leg. Step the right foot back. Do that same thing on the left side. Left foot forward to the outside of the left hand. Extend the left arm up to the sky. Stack the shoulders. Feel the energy through the fingertips. Place the left hand back down. Step it back to plank. Try to keep the hips nice and level with your head. Let's repeat that a few times. So step the right foot forward, right hand up to the sky. Right hand down, right foot back to plank. Left foot forward. Left hand up to the sky, left hand down, left foot back. Let's do two more on each side. Right, right arm up, place the hand down, step it back to plank, back to the left, left foot, left arm up, left hand down, back to plank. Last one, stay with me, right, stretch right arm up, place it back down, back to plank, Last one, left, left arm up, hand back down, hold your plank. Bring the belly in nice and tight, just feel that fire already through your midline. Uncurl the toes, sink the hips down, and while keeping the arms straight, come into an up dog, which should feel glorious right about now. As you open the collarbones, maybe you look up, recurl the toes, Join me in a chaturanga, a push-up. As you bend the arms, keep the elbows tight. Press back up to plank, whoo, and go up to a down dog. How's that for a warm-up? I know that I am feeling it already. In that down dog, just shake the head yes, shake it no, no stress, no tension. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Let it go through the mouth. Let's move right along into your flow. Stretch your left leg up to the ceiling, keeping a nice open hip if possible. So think about the left leg opening up to your left, keeping the leg straight at first, just feel the stretch in the front of that left leg and then maybe bend and stretch it a few times. So you start to get a bit more into your hips. Now straighten the left leg, square off the hips, which means as you look back, you should be able to see your left toes pointed down towards the ground. You take a deep breath in, exhale, bring your left knee to the left tricep, try to hold it. As you shift forward, shoulders right above the wrist. Stretch the left leg back, push back through that left heel. Exhale, left knee, right elbow, find a twist. Push back through the left heel. As you exhale, bring the knee towards your nose. Think about bringing the belly in tight to take the knee a little closer and then step your foot between your hands. As you do that, pivot the back heel flat, 
rise up to a warrior two. And in that warrior two, you want your front toes to face forward. You want your back toes to turn in a little bit. The belly lifts in and up. The shoulders are pressing down. Traditionally, we look over the front hand in a warrior two, but today we're gonna change it up a little bit. Turn towards your right, keep the legs as they are, interlace your hands behind your back. Continue to bend that left knee over the toes, roll the shoulders back, you take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, fold straight through the middle. As you fold straight through the middle, continue bending the left knee forward, simultaneously make the right leg nice and strong. So you're pressing down through the right outer foot, the toes are spread, the heels are heavy. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, return to that warrior two. Stay strong in the front leg as you open up the arms. From your warrior two, reverse your triangle. Straighten the front leg. Take it all the way back. Feels so nice on the left side body. And as you exhale, lift the torso all the way up. Bring the feet a little bit closer. Shift the hips to the back wall coming into triangle. Left hand to the outside of that left leg. The right arm reaches up. Take the right arm behind you once that chest is nice and open for a half bind. So you snuggle the right hand into that left hip crease where it meets your thigh bone and then roll the right shoulder back in space. Feel the back opening, the left hip opening. Nice and easy, re-extend the right arm back up. Engage the core, bring it in tight. Return to a warrior two. Now things are gonna get steamy here. From your warrior two, reverse your warrior. Continue to bend the knee as you lean back, stretching the left side body. And with a big circle of your arms, you're gonna take the right hand to the inside of the left leg, like that runner's twist, left arm up. But this time, come into a side plank. So ground yourself through the right arm, pivot onto the outer edge of the right foot, and take the left leg right on top. If you need a modification, go ahead and lower the right knee to the ground, but continue to extend the left leg out. As you hold that side plank, the right obliques lift you up, lift the top leg off of the bottom leg, stretch the left arm over the ear to the front of the space, and connect your left knee to the left elbow as you exhale. Inhale, stretch it out, working on your obliques. Exhale, bring it back in. Let's do that again. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, pull in. We're doing five more, so stay with me right here. You're probably shaking like a leaf like I am right now. That's a good thing. We are working on this. Give me three more. Stretch without forgetting about the breath. We have one more together here. Stretch, lengthen. Place the left leg on top of the right. Find a regular plank pose. Whoo, talk about some core burning exercises. Lift the belly and stay strong in that plank. Uncurl the toes, go back to that up dog. Sink your hips. This is like the yummy, juicy moments of this flow. Recurl the toes, go back into that chaturanga. Press back up to plank hold, down dog on the exhale. Whew. Relax the head, use it as that for you. So you deepen the breath if you lost it and you set yourself up for the second side. As you inhale, stretch the right leg all the way up to the sky, keeping the right hip open. So you're opening up to the right side a little bit. Maintain the leg straight at first. Once you get a nice stretch on the front leg, begin to bend and stretch it a couple of times. And as you're here, also re-engage the core. So you're never not engaging your midline. Restraighten the right leg, square off the hips, as you look back, you should be able to see the right toes. Take a giant breath in. As you exhale, bring the right knee towards the right tricep, shoulders over wrists. 
Inhale, push the right heel back. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Inhale, press back like you're pushing water away. Bring the knee to your nose. Get the foot as far forward as possible between the hands. Pivot the back heel flat and let's come into that warrior two. Take a moment, front toes straight forward, back toes at an angle. Turn the chest towards the left so you're nice and open. Interlace your hands behind your back. Making sure that's the opposite grip right here. You take a deep breath in, roll the shoulders back, and as you exhale, fold straight through the middle. Through that fold, continue to bend the right knee over the front toes, the left toes are in. You can close the eyes for a little bit, breathing into your shoulders. You take another big breath in. Stay strong in that front leg and on the exhale, return to a strong warrior two, opening the arms, looking forward. On the inhale this time, reverse your triangle. Stretch it all the way back. It should feel so nice on the right side body. And as you exhale, straighten the torso out. Bring the feet a little closer for a bit more stability. Shift the hips to the back of the space as you shift the body forward into triangle. Right hand goes to the outside of the right ankle. Left arm is up. And once your chest is wide open, take that half bind. Left arm behind your back, snuggling the hand right where your hip meets your thigh. Notice your left shoulder and with each breath out, roll it back a little bit more. Should feel nice in that upper body as you open through the right hip. You take an inhale. Re-extend the left arm all the way up. Exhale, come into a warrior two, re-bending that right leg. Keep the right leg bent, reverse the warrior, stretch back. And as you exhale, big circle of the arms takes you to that runner's twist and into the juicy stuff. <laughs> so now you strengthen and really engage through the left arm. Pivot onto the outer edge of the left foot. Stack the right leg right on top of the left. If you need that modification again, left knee down, right leg stays out. Ground yourself through that upper body, stacking the legs if you're coming with me. Right arm stretches over the ear, lift the right leg off the left. You take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, bring the knee to the elbow. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, knee to the elbow. Remember, you want to inhale as you stretch every time. Exhale, really empty out the lungs, activating the abdominal wall. Really firing up the left obliques, lifting the hips up a little bit higher. We only got four more, so stay with me. Exhale, maybe the knee comes up higher and higher every time. And you get longer as you stretch out. We got one more, breathe in. Take it all in, as you stretch, lift the hips an inch. Come into regular plank. Whoo, shoulders also. Take a deep breath in as you uncurl the toes, sink the hips, open the chest. Remember, the yumminess. And as you exhale, curl the toes, back to that push-up, plank, and down dog. We will repeat that flow, but before we do it, let's fire up the core just a little bit more and that upper body. Meet me in a plank position. Shoulders right above those wrists. Belly lifts in and up. It's a twisting knee drive right here. So without moving the hips up, connect the right knee to the left elbow. Left knee to the right elbow. Right to left, left to right. After that, let's do this one as a modification. Bring the knees down to the ground. Give me one push up. Press back into that modified plank. Relift your knees and come into a down dog. That's the exercise, that's the combination. We'll flow through that for about 30 seconds. So you take it back to that plank on the inhale. You take that cross body knee four times. Knees down or not, that's up to you. Give me a push up and then back to down dog. Again, inhale to plank, four cross body knee drives. 
As you lower into that push-up, you want the elbows to stay close to the body and then lift the hips back up. Inhale to plank. This is you versus you right now. Your pace, your breath. I'd rather you be really strong in your form than worry about the pacing right and not do it correctly. So notice, are you still able to breathe? You will be huffing and puffing, just like I am. <laughs> but are you in control of it? Take it down, press back up. We're almost there. You need two more. Trying to get the knee a little higher, a little closer to the arms. Plank. One more. You're doing awesome. After that last one, meet me in your down dog and hold it. Whoo! I am sweaty. Just enjoy the heart beating. Enjoy the breath right now. And just take a cleansing breath in. Cleansing breath out. We're not even done, but you should already be feeling like a warrior in this moment. So take another big breath in, big breath out. We'll go through that same sequence, but just a little bit faster. Join me with the left leg all the way up. This time keep the hip neutral. So you're flexing through the heel, you take an inhale. As you exhale, bring the left knee to the left tricep. Inhale, push back. Exhale to the right elbow. Inhale, push back. Exhale, step it through and right away come into a warrior two. In the warrior two, interlace your arms, your hands. You take another big breath in, open the chest. Exhale, fold straight through the middle. You hold this fold as you take another inhale. And on the exhale, return to warrior two. Opening the arms. Inhale, reverses the triangle, stretch all the way back. Exhale, take it to triangle. Shorten the distance of your feet if you need to. Inhale, take the right arm behind your back and just hold that on the exhale. On the next breath in, re-extend the right arm up to the sky. As you exhale, warrior two. Rebending through the front leg. Inhale, reverses the warrior. And as you exhale, runner's twist into your variation of a side plank. So whether the knee is down or not, that is up to you. Right away, extend the top arm to the front of the space. You take an inhale. As you lift the left leg, exhale, bring the knee to the elbow. Inhale, stretch. We're doing eight total. So you have that goal, visualize it. Use that as your strength. That is what's driving you right now. Give me four more. Maybe you breathe a little deeper. You can lift the hips up a little higher. Last one like that. Stretch, breathe. Find a plank, hold it this time, straight to your down dog. Hips up, nice and high. In your down dog, big breath in. Big breath out. Here we go, right away, side two. Inhale the right leg up, keep the hips neutral, toes down, exhale, right knee, right tricep. Inhale, push back. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Inhale, press back. Exhale, knee to your nose, step the foot forward, pivot the back heel flat, warrior two. On the inhale, interlace your hands behind your back. Open the chest, the shoulders, and as you exhale, fold straight through the middle. Relax the head as you take another big breath in. Exhale brings you back to warrior two, opening up the arms. Inhale reverses the triangle, stretching out the front leg. Exhale back into triangle, bringing the feet a little closer if necessary. Top arm, left arm up, and then behind your back. Hold the bind as you exhale. And on the inhale, re-extend the top arm up. The exhale brings you back to warrior two, re-bending the front leg. Inhale reverses the warrior. 
Big circle of the arms takes you back to that runner's twist. Left hand down, right arm up. Finding your side plank, whether it's the knee down or not, that is up to you. Extend the top arm towards the top of your space as you lift the back leg off the bottom. You take an inhale, exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, bring it in. Really firming through that bottom hand, right? Hand is directly underneath your left shoulder. We got four more. Stay with me here. Power through. You got this. Last three. Last two. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, pull it in. Stretch and pause. Meet me in a regular plank. Two hands down, two feet down. From this plank, go up to your down dog. In your down dog, take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. We're moving right along, returning to the plank position, back to that knee drive combination and the push up. Get excited. I am right here. Right knee to the left, left to the right, right knee to the left, left to the right. Stay strong in that push up, chest down, press back to plank, hips up to down dog. Remember, you determine the pace. Inhale to plank, right to left, left to right. Doing those four knee drives, keeping the shoulders over the wrists. Chest leads the way in the push-ups. Hips lead the way in the down dog. Keeping the belly in the whole time. The closer those knees go towards the arms, the better. You're really engaging your entire abdominal wall from the top to the lower abdominals. Staying strong in the upper body. Staying strong in the legs. We got the last 10 seconds, guys. Stay with me here. Breathe. Nice work. Give me one more like that. Keeping the hands nice and spread out, giving you that stability. This time, hold your down dog. Woo! Heart rate is up. Take a giant breath in. Exhale it out. Lower the knees down to the ground. Come into a child's pose. Just for a breath, the palms are pressing down. You are connecting your big toes, your knees are wide. Just kind of shuffle the body side to side. We should feel like a little massage in your entire body. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Let it go through the mouth. Now we're not done quite yet with firing up through the core. So from this position, walk your hands back to your knees, sit up tall and join me on your back. And as you find your way onto your back, slide your feet back towards your glutes. You're gonna find your way all the way flat, bring the hands behind your head. Elbows are wide, collarbones are broad. Stretch both of the legs up to the ceiling, toes pointed, inner thighs engaged. Lift the shoulder blades off of the ground. Press the belly button down nice and deep onto the mat. Lower the right leg down towards the ground and then lift it back up to meet the left. So on the inhale, lower the left leg. Exhale, bring it back up. Let's pick up the pace. Right leg down, lift up, left leg down, lift up. Not forgetting about the breath, even though we are working every single muscle in our bodies. We are focusing on the core, but notice your legs are engaged. Your upper body has to be in check. You're trying to lower the leg a little bit more every time. Notice how far you can go while still engaging the core. Protecting your back, right? Can we do eight more? Guess what? The answer is always yes. So here we go. Give me eight. Lift. Breathe. Maybe you pick up the pace a little bit. Staying right there with me. Good news is we're halfway there already. For three, for two, last one. Hug the knees, take a moment, rest your head. We'll do one more sequence, but before that, place the arms next to the body. 
place your feet flat on the ground, about hip width apart, and then lift the hips up into a bridge pose. Interlace your hands behind your back, roll the shoulders away from the ears, push down through the heels. You should feel like a nice little break. Opening up the front body, you take a deep breath in, exhale, release the hips back down. We'll do one more thing, a short little power move. The hands stay next to you on the ground, palms are wide. Relift the shoulders off the ground, but this time, set yourself up the same way. Legs are up, but you're gonna lower them to your lowest level, which might mean a diagonal, might mean down here. See what feels best and just flutter the legs. A fire up through that midsection. Just moving the legs up and down, nice and quick like you're swimming. Just keep swimming, you guys, just keep swimming. Keep the breath, press the palms down, shoulders off the ground. 10 more seconds, stay with me here for eight. Breathe, last four, two. Whew, should feel like you just wanna collapse, right? I feel that way. Just take a moment and then resume. <laughs> Bring the knees back in. We are almost done, warriors, almost done. A quick pose to down regulate you, and then it's onto your rest. So from this position, bring the right knee in, stretch the left leg out onto the ground, flexing your feet as you bring the right knee in a little closer. You're stretching the hips, your low back, keep the chest wide open. You take an inhale, and as you exhale, right knee across. Right arm opens out to the right side of your space, and you maybe close the eyes as you turn the head towards the right shoulder. Don't worry so much about getting the knee to the ground. Just about maintaining that nice open chest. Slowly return back to the middle. Stretch the right leg out, bring your left knee in, flex your feet. Take the knee in as close as you can. Inhale, and as you exhale, find your twist. You wanna move the hips a little bit to the left as you turn over to your left. Finding a nice long line from the head to your tailbone. Breathing into the back, to your left hip a little bit. Another inhale. And as you exhale, return back through the middle. Hug the knees into your chest. From this position, rock and roll a couple of times and make your way into a seated position. Taking single pigeon as your hip opener, start with the right leg in front as you stretch the left leg behind you. The right knee is towards the edge of your mat. Take a peek at the back leg. Make sure it is, the top of the foot is down and the left leg is nice and long straight behind you. You can stay upright for a few, enjoy how that feels, or my favorite is just folding all the way down. And within that fold, you continue to press the right hip back, left hip moves forward a bit. You can also stack the hands right underneath your forehead, creating a nice little pillow. And what I encourage you to do right here is go back to a place of stillness. You moved a lot in, these, in this quick little upper body and core yoga flow. So enjoying the last few minutes, bringing that inner stillness within by deepening your inhales and your exhales. Releasing some of that tension that might be present in the right hip, the shoulders, even your foreheads. Allowing your body to get a little heavier with each breath out. Let's take one more big breath in. Release the breath. Slowly begin to lift the chest up. Using your hands to assist, transfer your body weight onto that right hip. 
and you sit, you extend the legs forward, give them a little bit of a shake, and let's go into the other side. Left leg in front, right leg sweeps straight behind. Acknowledge that each side might feel a little different, right? My left side is a bit tighter than my right. Take the left knee towards the edge of the mat. The right leg is nice and long behind you. Prop yourself up with your fingertips, puff up the chest, take an inhale. And as you exhale, lower all the way down. See what adjustments you might need to do on this side that you didn't on the first side. After you move around a little bit, you decide the arms can stretch out, can stay stretched out forward, or you can create that comfy pillow with your hands underneath your forehead. Feeling a nice clear line from the crown of your head all the way down your back through the tailbone, just lengthening your entire body. Softening your cheeks, your lips, your fingers, your toes, bringing that sense of ease and awareness. Big breath in, slow breath out. In the next breath or so, begin to lift the body all the way up. This time, transfer your body weight to your left hip. Sweep the right leg back to the front of the space. And you're gonna slowly find your way back onto your back. Hug the knees in a bit. Just bringing the knees as close to you as possible. And just rock side to side. Feel the release in the low back and in the hip flexors. Allow the eyes to soften as you take another big breath in. Release the breath. Bring the feet flat onto the ground. Stretch out your legs onto your mat, finding Shavasana, your resting pose. So you want the feet as wide as your mat, maybe a little wider if you have the space, why not? Get comfortable. Lengthen the arms alongside your body and do a little shuffle dance of the shoulders down your back allowing your palms to spiral up to the sky. Your heart space is open, your eyes are closed. And you're really giving yourselves an opportunity to rest and to receive the benefits of your practice here. So all of that hard work, you did all that just for this moment of stillness so that you're able to surrender and just let go so letting go of any controlled breathing letting go of any tension that might still be present in your body relax your eyes your lips you want to almost feel your body get heavier and heavier onto your mat Finding that inner stillness. Allowing the rest to happen. You are more than welcome to stay in Shavasana for as long as you feel it's necessary. In fact, I encourage you to. But if you are ready to move, start to move your fingers and your toes. Just bring life back to your body a little bit. Begin to deepen the breath feeling as the belly rises and as it comes back down. Start to bend your knees, 
bringing the knees towards the right side of your mat as you roll towards the right. And just create a little pillow with the right arm, left hand right in front. Just take a moment to reset your body. Using your left hand for support, press down and lift yourself all the way up to a seated position. And in that seated position, keeping the eyes closed, sitting up tall, heart space open, palms on your legs, up or down, whatever feels natural to you. Enjoying the stillness, embracing it. Bring the hands to your heart, bow down to your fingertips. Take a deep breath in, release the breath. The light within me honors the light within you. Namaste. Hmm. Amazing job, warriors. This is the perfect program to do when you want to feel strong, but you also want to release some of that upper body tension. Yoga is about stepping into your power. You are strengthening your body and your mind, and every time that you do that, you become a warrior. I'm Coach Francis, and I'll see you next time here on Tono Yoga. Sending lots of love your way.